All right, ladies and gentlemen, welcome to our attempted reassembly of our 8K RED camera. So I took it apart. What's that face for? I don't want to be responsible for this. So I took it apart a long time ago and I, the intention was to water cool this camera. Uh, the problem that I ran into though is that I never did any before readings. So we would go and water cool the camera, but then we wouldn't have any baseline to compare it against. And so the realization was that I needed to put it back together. So I enlisted Alex's help and we are gonna put this camera back together. Summer break just started, but it's never too early to start looking for a new laptop for back to school. Every Origin PC laptop is ready for whatever games or school projects you're gonna tackle, and you can check out their special deals at the link below. So let's start by having a look at what's in the bin here. So every one of these is oriented exactly the way that it needs to be in here so that the screws that are taped into place don't fall out because <laughs> they're all kind of samey looking with just subtle differences between them. And if they weren't sitting in the slots where they go, it would be really hard to not accidentally put a screw that's too long into a place that's too short and <laughs> dead camera. Yeah, that's a really easy thing to do in my experience taking apart and reassembling laptops. So yeah. I can't even imagine for this. Yeah. Um, so let's go ahead and start taking pieces out. Carefully. Carefully there, bud. So because it's been six months since I took this apart, I have no idea how to put it back together. But <laughs> Fortunately, we actually, uh, we, we first heard from these guys, like, what, two years ago? We first, well, I, uh... The thing is actually, uh, three-ish years Three ago. years or something wild. like that. Uh, so a company called Less Pain Software. Normally, when you ingest red footage, um, it's, it's raw footage. So you end up with these R3D files that are split up into four gig chunks. So this is one long video clip that you're looking at here, but it's in these, like, three chunks. Um, and as you can see, there's no thumbnails or anything like that. So the only way to really find out what's in them is to open them in Red Player, which is pretty tedious. Or you can use this program called Red Cine X Pro, which is free. Well, that is to say free for anyone who has, <laughs> buys a red camera. Um, and then you can navigate to your folder and is that what's in here? Whatever, it, it sucks and it's not, it's not great for like browsing media. So that is where Kino comes in. So with Kino, discard, we should be able to take our red disassembly here. We just drill down and there we have it. That's all the clips and we can browse them and move them around if we should see fit. And uh, wow, that's a lot of video footage. So video is good, pictures are good, both is best. Okay, so I guess we start at the end? Yeah. So I even recorded some short video clips for ourselves. Okay, so there you go, Andy. Uh, past Linus has our back. That's the screw we're looking for, you got it? Now I just have to find it. Um, <laughs> how about this one? I think these guys. Okay. Are those the same screw? Yeah. Yeah, we both came to the same. Did okay. you just almost drop it? Yep. If the rest of the video goes this well, we're... so you're putting that heatsink back on. How's that going for you? I'm just loosely putting the screws in. It seems like that this one right here is not correct. Okay. And... Oh, that's a through hole. There you go. That's why. Okay. And what board is that? This is the board with three chummies coming off of it. Three chummies. Okay. Those seem to have worked. Okay, so we're good? Yeah. Either that or we just screwed in the wrong ones and we'll find out later. There, see that? Okay. So it's kind of wedged in there. So is that what we did? It also seems like that we need some sort of a standoff right there. Standoff? I don't think so. It's got a, so this comes like up a little bit. And then I think it goes 
kind of in there. Because it was like stuck on there when it came out. There, like that. Ah. Uh. Yeah. Does that look great? Yeah, seems right okay. enough. Okay. Um, yeah, I'm calling that good. Okay, so was this tightened down or no? No, but just be careful. So then I wonder which screw goes in the left there. Okay, so that one goes down all the way. Oh yeah, that one goes down all the way. Okay, cool. It's either this one or this one. Oh, and one's long and one's short. Yeah. Okay, that's fine. Um, addendum, that's the addendum. Addendum to that last one, the one by my index finger is the short one. Hey! So the short one goes here. <clears throat> yeah. Okay, so we're, so so we've we've put one thing back in. Yep. So here's the nightmare thing. It looks like all of this is on there correctly. So this heat sink basically screws directly into like the chip. Um, and that's on there. So I wonder if there's something that was supposed to go like between these two things. Nope. No, no. This is the picture of having removed it. Okay. Yeah, so the orientation is wrong. So here, I'm gonna put it <laughs> back like that. Um, there's this weird gasket that um, is presumably going to come into play at some point, and this <laughs> other one. Um, but yeah, all this looks like stuff that we actually have not altered. So that's the cooler for the actual sensor. So that's gonna be the most important thing for us to water cool. Yeah. As we're making our way through the rest of this project. Given that's like pretty pinner, I think that we can beat it pretty easily. Yeah, it's, it's a matter of like <laughs> getting it in there though. That's the problem. Okay, so we need this board, which is presumably the other side of yes. this board. Those are gonna fall out, all of them. Oh yeah, good okay. call. Yeah, so have let's them fall out let's on me. It. Yay, <laughs> okay, I've got these. All right. So that's confusing. <laughs> what uh, is that? Do you see anything that looks like that? Is that it? Oh yeah. wow, thank you past Linus. Sometimes you're not a complete <laughs> ass. This goes through here and then through that. It goes hey. in this way, but this okay. isn't threaded. So it's not? something else is going to have to go on the other side of this. Holy crap balls. That's <laughs> terrible news. I think the screw that we put in here might not be long enough. Cuz look, it barely comes through. But Wait, no, oh. no, it's fine. No, no, it's fine because see this one is raised. Yes. Yes. Okay. So that is exactly fine. So then presumably that one right there goes through that. So we've put the cooler back on Whatever that was and a bunch of RAM chips. <laughs> uh, should we tighten it down? Uh, sure. Uh, two down. Um, lots to go. So that does look like this, but like, what the crap? Oh yeah, it does. How would that work? Okay, hold on. Don't panic. I'm not panicking. I am not either. No oh, one's, no one's oh I, th I think I think I. This goes in like here. <gasps> Right. Okay. Guys at home, ladies, gentlemen, however hard this is for you to watch, know that it's that much harder for us to be a part of. <laughs> There's, it's a two-piecer. Oh, geez. Well, does that give us enough room? I think yep. so. Cool. So then we'll just have to slip this back in. All right. That is a very bent piece of metal. <laughs> does that seem right? That doesn't seem right. There, now it's straight-ish. You don't want to use my spudger? Nope. My spudger's not good enough my for you? My spudger's crap. My spudger is identical to your spudger. Nope. My spudger has, we have history. Don't think of my spudger as like old. Think of it as seasoned. Okay. Hey, good work. Like. High five. Not while you're holding that. Yeah, this photo is really not great. Um, so we know that Okay, all the screws are do seem to still be in, which is good. Yeah, I'm starting to have flashbacks now. I think this is where Shiz got real. <laughs> so this goes here. Does it? It looks like it's way closer in that picture. Um, or like? No, no. There's a bottom piece. There's a bottom piece that uh, I think. Or is it like here? This one. This is the bottom of the camera. 
Because there's not a 90 degree turn right here. Yeah, yeah, no, no, it's like this. Here, it goes like that. Ish, like that-ish. And then this goes right here? Yeah. Okay. Does that, does that look bueno? Uh, yeah. This is by far the most expensive puzzle that I have ever taken apart and put back together. So it was loose, actually. It was loose when we were still taking off this piece. So it's not unreasonable. For this whole middle thing to just not quite attach yet? Yeah. Oh God. Um, sorry, I'm just I'm gonna watch a little faster here. So here I'm taking off that, uh, that plastic plate that is on your right there. So here's where I take off the gasket. All right, here's where I point out the gasket. Move screws that hopefully are still on there. So right, yeah, that's where that sticks up. Okay, so here we go. So that just falls away. What are those little rubber chums? We don't know. Oh, it's this, it's this, okay. It's that right there. Yeah, yeah. Okay, so see this? It's just loose. Okay. Yeah, so here, I'm just checking the orientation of this. So this guy is in here like this. Yep. So that's just like there, but also just doesn't matter right now. And then we can put our plastic thing on. That's the one. Okay, so we should take all the tape off first, hey? Yeah. Here. Actually, here, can I hand you this piece of tape and can you remember the orientation? Oh wait, that screw just stayed in. Uh, okay. What is this? Is this a thermal pad or what? I can't quite tell. Oh wow, that was really painless. Okay. This needs to go under here. Yeah. Okay. So we're looking for three ribbons, the LSB. That looks promising right there. That looks very promising. That, yeah, that looks like it. Okay, All cool. right. All right, continue. <laughs> Nervous laughter. That's what the captions should say. Oh, it would be so unfortunate to just drop a screw in through here. Please don't. I'm gonna try not to. <laughs> it really doesn't help that these are all non-ferrous screws so they don't stick to our screwdrivers. Uh, did you tighten all those up? Yep. Okay. Or I didn't tighten all of them. Yeah, let's, let's, I think we're good to tighten those up. And then I believe the next piece is that but on the other side. And this one also has all the screws in place. We actually did a pretty good job of uh, keeping all this stuff together. Like this is going better than I probably expected. Yeah, same. Okay, time for the other side, I think. Let me consult the footage. So this right here is that. Um, where is this red one right is here is guy? here. Yeah, where does that go? Is this the board for this side? It does look like it would go in there. Yeah. And but it also looks like that that would go that in there. That goes there, that goes there, that goes there, that goes there. Yeah, okay. this is definitely. Okay, yeah. And we're in. Ha! Huh. Woo! Yeah! Let's consult the footage, shall we? We're halfway there. According cool. to the footage, anyway. <clears throat> Looks like that this goes right uh, here. Yeah, I want to do it in the same order though, just in yeah. case. So I want to. We have to put Actually, it looks here. like yes, we're doing that. Uh, that one. Yep. So here, do you want me to just hold on to those for now? That's probably a good idea. Yeah. I just tip the screws onto my hand. Yeah. There we go. Okay. Yeah. I'll. I'll just. They're all the same, so it doesn't matter. Wow. That's all in. What is this? Great question. This is probably this. Yeah, that seems likely. Okay. I wonder where the other side goes. Uh, pr presumably the board that, that goes on the other side. <laughs> I'm guessing, I'm guessing, okay. Oh, this chip right here is probably what goes on that rando um, heat pad. Yeah. Okay. Uh, let me just check the order here. I just don't wanna do this out of order if yeah. you don't have to. Uh, what board am I looking at here? This one. Okay. Okay, so it looks like the next thing I'm pulling off here is actually the fans. 
I don't know if that makes sense. Had I already removed the PCB from the other side? Let me have a look here. Where did these go, like right here? Oh, okay. No, I did the other PCB like way earlier. So yeah, it looks oh, like the right fans here. is the next thing that I do. Okay, fan one, fan two. I'm guessing it doesn't matter which one plugs into which. Oh, I see what's going on. Okay, so this little wireless guy. Yeah, that connects to right here. You know what, we should plug them in first, I guess. Do you wanna plug them in? And then we'll manage them after? Which one do you think is the... Oh, that looks like it goes there, okay. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna hold all the tension off the cord and then you uh, put it in. Yeah. Okay. So you'll have to line it up and make sure it's actually on there. I think it is though. Yep. Yeah, I think there we, we go. got it. Yeah, we got it. So these must be external screws. Yeah, it must be. I would say it's those big fat ones. Yeah, I'm guessing these. Yeah. Should we just go for it? Let's go for it. All right. It's gotta be, nothing else has threading that even looks close. So. And it's also the one that has the most crap on it. It and is amazing. There's a lot of crap around these holes. It is amazing how tightly this is sandwiched. Like I am holding this together. <laughs> This is one compact machine. Okay. Whew. It's kind of starting to look like a camera again. <laughs> Instead of a bucket of parts. Oh no, so I, oh, so I disassembled it in a really weird order. Okay, so I think even though that's not the order that I did it in last time, we should put this PCB on now. All right. Okay, so where did the screws for that go? Oh, these must be them, are there four by any chance? Five? Five, please tell me there's four, five. five. Yep. Whew. Perfect. Okay. Uh, there will be no extra yeah, screws, absolutely Jake. absolutely zero extra zero screws. Zero extra screws. We are professionals. We helpfully, past Linus, helpfully put all the screws where they go for us. It's starting to really look very camera -y now. Yeah. Uh, wow, that's a lot of screws on this one. Yeah. But then again, this is where all the weight of the camera and the entire rig is uh, going to be resting. Okay, so we have one screw left. <clears throat> it's right there. Wait. Uh oh. Yeah. Uh oh. Uh ooh. What is this? That looks like a super special screw. Yeah. Store lock screw. Oh. Warranty's fine now. Lordy. Store lock screw. What does the lock screw look like? So Jake just explained what the back focus lock screw does. You use it to lock the sensor in place if you're transporting the camera or something like that. So you don't technically need it in there. Um, I mean, it's, it's probably ideal, but it also is not necessarily like marked like that because it's dangerous to have it out or something like that. It's marked like that so it's easy to find because it is intended to be user adjustable. Okay, all right. <laughs> So you just want, you keep wanting to put this plate on. Yep. Okay, you really want to put that plate on. Okay. Now we put this chum on. Seems fine. Let's make sure you have it lined up because there's that yep. uh, connector down there. Oh, okay. That seems pretty lined up. Sounds. We're really close. Yep. So this, I don't know. Where does this look like it goes? Kind of looks like it goes here, but that doesn't make any sense. Other way around? Maybe. Yeah. Yeah. <clears throat> Good call. I'm guessing that this, uh, is it this one? Or that one? Mine has three holes or three screws. All right. wonder where that goes. I think probably along this side is my guess. I just don't see where. Oh, unless, is this covering up a, wait. Is that an extra screw? Is that an, hmm? Oh, <gasps> I think we found it. Woo! Wait, no, because we're too short. Oh. Okay, so let's hold on to that for now. Um, and then this guy is gonna go, wait, what the crap? I wonder if this is orientation agnostic. I feel like it is. is there a <gasps> we have two extras! Oh, dang! Okay. So we went and we put all the screws in, but we didn't realize that there was just a little thing that goes on here that was already preloaded with all the screws that it needed under it. Got it. Okay, back focus lock, screw found. 
Confirmed. <laughs> there it is. Boom! Okay, fun fact, Alex, um, all of these black skinny screws are not the same. Oh, that's fun. Yep, some of them are threaded more differently than the other ones. Come on out, baby. Yeah, get out! Thank you. So I need one of the thicker ones for this. <laughs> that's probably why I had two of them in tape separately. All right, that's out. <laughs> Maybe they are all the same then. I don't know, I can't tell. It's hard to say. This one looks kind of longer, doesn't it? Wait, those are hex as well. I should really start, or, yeah, <laughs> I should really start using a hex driver for this. <laughs> so wait, this one right here is definitely Torx though. Which one? This one. Oh, well that's interesting. Cause that's definitely hex. Here's these, Torx. These ones are Torx? Torx. Hex. So I have two hexes. I think they're all Torxes. No, this one's hex. Well, that one's hex, but what about these other ones down here? One's Torx, Torx, Torx. You said Torx three times, but I only see two screws. Yeah, no, I just said that an extra time. Okay. I mean, at this point, do we just give up and just throw it together? Yeah, I think they're all just, the same length, like who yeah. cares? Okay, so I guess we're either done or Disappointing, Done. yeah. <laughs> Last screw, ladies and gentlemen. And this is the one that, I think the threads are just stripped. Okay, so, whatever. Yeah, okay, not gonna, not gonna care about that because it's on here good enough. Okay, hit me. So this guy just screws onto here. Yep. And then do we have a display, right? Are those, uh, well, okay. Let's just see if the LED turns on. Oh, I mean, I can, so spare. you just want to see an LED. Wow, you have very little confidence in this project. Hey, David? I, I'm very impressed with what you guys have done so far. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Um, are we ready? Yeah, it's the button on the right side. The so hold that. Please. Please. Okay, here we go, ladies and gentlemen. Oh, that's fantastic. We've got the fans on. No LED though. Feel the intake. Where's oh, the LED supposed LED. to be? Oh. Okay. We've got power. Oh, 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 oh yeah. I want to see an image. Jake, show me that beautiful face. It's going to be the first thing this camera ever sees. Okay. So, we have no reason to believe at this moment then that it doesn't work. That was stressful. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now we need to water cool it. Yeah, <laughs> just completely disassemble it. Yeah, yeah, well, but we need to do some pre-testing first. So Brandon, yeah. what I was kind of thinking is I would like you to do some pre-benchmarking on it. And I wanna know how loud it is, both at idle and under more strenuous conditions. Uh, we want to know how hot it gets. And then we also want to have some test footage, ideally in high light. Uh, so some with, with adequate lighting and some in a low light scenario that we can then compare against our image when we are done this whole project. Squarespace gives you the tools you need to build and grow your online presence. They've got tons of templates spanning a large variety of categories. So whether you need a website for your blog or your wedding or your business, Squarespace has got you covered. You can get a domain quickly through Squarespace if you need one, or you can port over an existing one you already own, and you can get started with a free, no commit 14 day trial by going to squarespace.com forward slash LTT. And if you use our link, you'll actually get 10% off your first purchase. So go try it out. So thanks for watching guys. Uh, if you disliked this video, then uh, you, I guess you were rooting against us. Um, but if you liked it, hit like, get subscribed, or consider checking out where to buy the stuff we feature. The link in the video description. Do we have like a red camera down there? I don't think we have a red affiliate link. Yeah, we got PIA, we got the LTT store. So yeah, check out some, check out some merch. We got the brand new hard drive shirt down there. It uh, looks pretty sick, if I do say so myself. Not that I designed it myself or anything. And then of course, stealth hoodie. Um, we're probably gonna sell out of the first shipment of them fairly soon. We did get more ordered, but if you wanna make sure that you get one right away, then head to lttstore.com. I believe we still have all sizes in stock. It's got the phone pocket. I'm gonna show the phone pocket. Ah. Phone pocket, boom. 
So it even fits large phones like an iPhone XS, XS Max, um, Note 9, doesn't come out. Yep, lttstore.com.